<laughs> oh, that's nice. Why does it have like a little flare on the edge here? It's catching the light. From what? The wide angle lens catching the light. That's not good, is it? There's still that light oh, there. You gotta turn it off. Hmm? I don't even know how that turned on. If you, right. watch, you watch the Shaw Brothers movie, they have the Shaw scope at the beginning. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's what it refers to. It's I also like a have fish a, eye. I also have a fish eye lens. Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can see myself. Good. That's the idea. Look how wide our house is. <laughs> it's like got a nice big place here. We've got a lot of weird lights in here. So it's not flaring now. That must have been why it was flaring. Yeah, it was. Because it's not accurate. Now, oh shoot, I don't know. How do you reverse this while you're doing it? Do I turn You'd it have to, to me? turn the whole thing around. So now I'm in it? Yeah. See, that's the only way you need the mirror is if oh. it's reversed. Otherwise, you can see through the front. The mirror's throwing me off. So I am practicing yeah. filming into this camera lens, which is very awkward because I'm looking at the lens and not anything else. So I don't know what I'm looking like or sounding like. <laughs> yeah, this is my office. Wait, am I not looking at the right side? See, I've got to get this <laughs> straight. The, the lighting in here is horrible. And then I'm gonna turn it around without making anybody sick and hopefully you can see me. So let's just see if this is actually working and that we actually have the proper setup here. And hopefully we won't set off the emergency alarm yeah. again. Now Dave is working on some special secret project that I'm not aware of. I'm just updating my famous video store post. So somehow right. you can hold it out and you get more yeah. of a more mm -hmm. length, sure. length yeah. width. Yeah. Width, width yeah. nothing. So, so you just want to watch your headroom at the top. <laughs> That's the only thing you want to do. And as long as you're consistent with that, you'll be oh, okay. Oh, I might be terrible at it. That's yeah. why I'm practicing. So you I'm can, pretend you can right. walk around and... You can actually look at the mirror, and the mirror is close enough to the lens that it doesn't really look it that much different. It almost looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's like a natural. And then, what am I trying to do And this? then we flip it around, and we can see you, mm -hmm. and that should be good. Here I am. So, actually, I don't dislike this. Now that I've gotten it squared away, essentially, it's not setting off alarms or something. <laughs> I hope that's not going to be a, a, a thing. What I plan to do is practice filming fake videos. Mm -hmm before I attempt to make one video. Not to say that I'm gonna to try to be perfect, because clearly I'm not. And now we're gonna film Dave doing his art. That was like really awkward, I hope no one's sick. Okay, so this is even more awkward than ever because I am trying to look at the lens, but at the same time, there's a big bright light behind the lens and I cannot see for the life of me what I look like. See, they make vlogging look really easy, you know? It's not improving it. I am proving to everybody that vlogging is not easy. That is to say, I am being completely honest about how I feel about this. Hopefully over time I will get better at it. And let's go film the cat. <laughs> Turn this around and film the Persian cat. And wow, the lighting in here is wonderful. She looks like a tribble or whatever those things are called. Anyway, so this is a wide angle lens, everybody. How many times do I have to see? I'm just blown away. You have to practice to get good at things. And I have heard everybody say that it's very awkward when you start. I don't like seeing myself on camera, much less filming myself. I don't know what I'm looking at, but if my head is cut off, then <laughs> if my head is cut off, what? If my head is cut off, it's because I'm super new at this. I'm determined to figure it out. I mean, I figured out quite a bit of things thus far. Let's film my computer screen, shall we? This way. But I have no idea what I'm seeing at the moment. I think I basically have a concept of it and I gotta get used to looking at the lens and not, and actually, this is extremely crooked. Wow, okay. If I'm filming myself typing, I don't know if I am. There you go. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I could be just, not even in the frick picture at this point. It's very possible. Again, it does look easy when other people do it. Future me, I am currently editing my first YouTube video. The video is slowly but surely coming together. This is a perfect example of beginners going at it anyway, even if they don't know what they're doing. I think that taking action is better than never taking action, even if this is an imperfect process. Dave's cooking school. Today we're going to learn how to properly season a slab of beef. 
Now, formerly, this was a cow. Today is my lunch. So, this is what we do. Do that, do that, you're done. That'll be $300. Future me here again. Now it is 928 and I am still editing this video. I call this a labor of love. Okay, so this is the first time we've ever opened this package. And the cat just came in for a cameo. And we're opening the Devoom Ditu Pro, the retro pixel art portable speaker. Aw, look at that. That's really cute. Comes in its own little bag. Almost looks like a little retro TV. I figured out how to open it, so there we go. And it's got this little computer. What looks like a computer. White keys on it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. How cute. There's an on off button. That sure does. That turns on. A music mode. <laughs> Bluetooth. There's a speaker on the top. Always have to learn how to do something new. So I just found inside the room there are these stickers sticker packs and then there's the user manual now I will say it's underneath little refrigerator looking thing underneath the thing that holds everything and the USB cord that's where it is so here's a close-up of the sticker pack <laughs> and Dave kindly pointed out to me that there is a donut in the upper left hand corner not only do you get a speaker but you get two packs of stickers. I think they over-delivered. <laughs>